Hello, everybody. Cal Banyan here. Cal Banyan's Hypnosis, etc. on calbanyan.com or on a website of another certified professional hypnosis instructor. And we're doing a very special series, me and Erica Flint, or actually proper English is Erica Flint and me. And we just had this passion to answer these questions that we get all the time from people who are thinking about coming into the profession or are new in the profession or been in the profession for a while but really just haven't gotten started. And so we're doing this special one on becoming a hypnosis professional. Let me tell you about Erica. Erica Flint is um, I, just becoming a powerhouse in the profession. She is a full-time board certified hypno hip, consulting hypnotist. She is one of the very first, at least on the West Coast and really around the world, accredited professional hypnosis instructors. She's got a full-time practice in Bellingham, Washington, where she also teaches students. She is a rising star in the profession, as I said before, a trainer, a speaker, speaking at the National Guild of Hypnotists uh, convention, and also the National Guild of Hypnotists Solid Gold Weekend. Uh, she writes for the Five Path Professional Journal, the only journal for Five Pathers by Five Pathers, and Five Path is a special form of hypnosis that helps hypnotists get started fast and work with everything. All right, she is also co-host, as you may already know, if you've been watching this series of our famous Hypnosis Etc. program on calbanian.com. All right, Erica, what's up? Hey, Cal, thanks for having me for this series. I remember when you asked me if I wanted to do this with you, and I was so excited um, about doing this special series for people thinking about coming into the profession or becoming more successful because these are the types of questions that as a trainer I get all the time. So I'm really happy to be answering these questions for people. Um, let's get started in just a minute after I uh, give everybody an introduction of you, Cal. Um, Cal Banyan is the authority on hypnosis that works. And he's been in the profession for 20 years, and he's won nearly every single award from the National Guild of Hypnotists, which is the oldest and largest hypnosis professional organization in the world. He is an author, he's a trainer, and he's appeared on television and radio talking about hypnosis, talking about his books on hypnosis. And he's a trainer of some of the best in the profession. He's also the person that experts in the field turn to for guidance and education on hypnosis. So thanks again, Cal, for having me uh, join you here today. I'm really loving this topic on how to get started as a hypnosis professional. And let me start with the, que the next question that we're at. How do I select the best hypnosis school? Very good question. You know, one of the worst criteria is, is it closest? Is it closest? Um, and I'm so amazed that some people would start off with a, a, an investment like this of time, money, and effort and choose their school by which is the closest. Most serious people uh, do not use that criteria. In fact, when the people from our school, about one third are from California, about a third from out so California, but in the United States, and about a third come from international. So we really get the crumb of uh, the cream of the crop when it comes to students. I'll tell you what, what you need is, and I've talked about in all our previous episodes, is a checklist, uh, you know, written up by someone that's been in the profession for 20 years of criteria that you want to seriously consider when choosing a school. So when you go to the school's website or when you give them a call, have this in hand and just ask them about every one of these. If you check off every one of these, you can be assured that you've got an excellent school or an excellent hypnosis instructor. And uh, wherever this video is showing, uh, you should there should be a link on the page where you can download this this document. You don't have to opt in, you just download it, and now you've got it. We do it as a service to you. And let me see here. Uh, did you see that checklist, Erica? I did, yes. And I think it's really helpful for people because it's combining everything that we're talking about here into a nice checklist. Let's let's make it easy for people to figure out what they should be doing and then use that checklist and kind of go, you know, talk to uh, the school or the trainer and make sure that, that they include everything on that checklist. Right. 
Perfect. Now, I don't, obviously, I'm not, this is like a page and a half, right? That's doing your due diligence. I've got just some, a few things I want to mention from on that list. So, you, you want to find out, is that school even legal? I'm sorry, but there are people out there who are training. They're not even legal to be training in the state or country where they're teaching. I would not want to get a certification from a school that's not legal. The organization who um, perhaps they're training for, maybe they're not even training for organization, maybe they're just self-made up. I'm the such and such, and I'm I'm the poobah of hypnosis training, and then you get a certificate that's worth nothing. Um, once you've got that, you know that they're legal and you know what organizations they're, they're, they're training for or recognized by, you want to find out what certifications do you receive. I mean, the bare bones cert certificate of, uh, you know, I am now a hypnotist or I am now uh, a certified consulting hypnotist is great. But you can go so much further than that if you find the right school. For example, uh, all of the certified professional hypnosis instructors who have this video on their website, you know, if they are Banyan approved five pathers, then what happens is you're going to get a master hypnotist certificate and you will earn it. And on it, it states that you have demonstrated your ability to hypnotize with two or three different kinds of inductions. You have demonstrated that you know how to test for depth of hypnosis overtly and covertly. You know how to provide hypnotic suggestions and expertly emerge someone from hypnosis. So that would be your first certification that you get. Also, there will be five path certification, five phase advanced transformational hypnosis certification. And you will earn that also, no matter which instructor you take, as long as they are five path certified instructors, which are called certified professional hypnosis instructors. You will also get certification and training in a very special kind of self-hypnosis. It's the only self-hypnosis in the world that is an insight-based form of self-hypnosis. It's been called the very first antivirus software for the mind. You see, we go through life, most of the programs we pick up are good, just like with your computer. But once in a while you pick up this bad program, and that bad program can cause you to be unnecessarily fearful, or it might cause you to be unnecessarily anger, angry, or it might cause you to have limiting beliefs, or to impede your performance, or your self-confidence. Well, Seven Pass Self-Hypnosis is designed to find those programs and neutralize them, just like a computer's antivirus software. Anything you want to add to that part so far? Well, you know, I think well, one thing that resonates with me that's really standing out is that our students like are earning their certificates, right? And, and a lot of that has to do with the amount of supervised practice time. So I think that part is really important because you really want to have the trainer, somebody who knows what they're doing, um, witnessing and supervising the training time, right? Uh, I think you said, you know, in a previous episode, you don't want there to be all this home study, right? You need a professional there to watch and make sure that you are doing it correctly. Absolutely correct. So all of those earned certificates, our programs are accelerated. There's no fluff. It's all about stuff you really need to know to perform as a confident and competent hypnosis professional. When those are also when those are all earned, you also get the National Guild of Hypnotists certification because our programs are NGH approved hypnosis certification programs. Uh, as I mentioned before, you have to have what are the actual hours of both classroom and supervised practice? You must have supervised practice. Too many hypnosis professionals say, okay, the stuff you did in school, in class today, go home and practice it, find a friend, okay? And what happens is, you know, sometimes it just doesn't happen or you do it incompetently or without confidence. You need to find a school where supervision is practiced, uh, supervised. Not that the instructor is hanging over you every minute, but is checking in on you, checking to make sure you're doing it right, answering questions so that you can get a high quality practice time. One other thing, and we talked a little bit about this before in a previous episode, the emphasis needs to be 
emphasis em, the emphasis needs to be on the practical the applicable uh, spending a day on the history of hypnosis is an incredible waste of time you know the Sure, you should know about the history of hypnosis. We talk a little about, about it in the history of our courses, but you are much better served. Just go get a book on the history of hypnosis and read it, have that background. The most essential stuff will be covered in class, but we should probably spend a half hour on the history of hypnosis. All right, anything you want to add to that, Erica? Well, I mean, just one thing that, that comes to mind when we're talking about what, what you should be doing in class and the supervised training is how many students are in the class. I, re I saw a picture the other day of a recent graduate class. It was like 40 people in a class. And that just seems like way too many to me. What do you think? Absolutely. You know, do you really think you're going to get your answer, your questions answered? Do you th really think that you're getting a reasonable evaluation or supervision by hypnosis instructors when there's 30, 40 people in a class? I generally shoot for 12 students in a class, plus or minus. I, a big, big class for me is like 18 students. I. Uh, that's just right. More than that, and it's really a lot of pressure to make sure everything gets done right, the classes run late, and it's just not a good balance. So class size is almost half of, of the equation because if you have too many students, everything else just gets watered down. Uh, one other thing I want to add is this is so deceptive. This is one of the most deceptive practices amongst schools and trainers. Okay, they promise you 100 hours of training to get your certification with some organization or something, and then they, they cheat you by spending a significant period of time on something else. You know, you need all of that 100 hours to really get what you need to confidently and competently go from classroom to clients. If you spend 20% on something else that works against you, be that like NLP training, neuro linguistic programming training, yes, that's a wonderful thing, you know, um, not necessary to be a great hypnotist, but that's something nice and, and it can be very useful, but when you're done and you're competent as a hypnotist, then you can add that. Another thing is uh, things like EFT, emotional freedom technique, and these other kinds of tapping techniques. You know, if you're interested in that kind of thing, take another class. Don't let them steal away your time learning the core material of, of hypnosis uh, and all the most powerful techniques. That, you know, NLP, and EFT and all these other techniques can are not worth their time when you are trying to get a good handle on the most powerful and important techniques of hypnosis. So reject any school that does that. Now, if they have their complete total course as promised, and then they have, oh, and by the way, we have another course that has these things, that's okay. But don't let them rob time away from your course. How do you feel about that, Erica? Yeah, I couldn't agree more, Cal. And I'm so glad that you bring this up because I think I was tempted when I was kind of first looking around by, oh, geez, I can have hypnosis and EFT or, or and it includes NLP. And now I understand how, um, you know, it's not good for the student because that 100 hours, you really need to focus on getting an extremely good foundation of hypnosis. It should not be watered down with all of these different things, trying to learn all of these different things. Focus on hypnosis hypnosis, get a really strong foundation of hypnosis, and then you can go learn those other things. You know, I even know of a school, and I'm not going to mention any names, you do your own research, go through the checklist, that spends a significant amount of time on handwriting analysis. You know what, if you do what you're supposed to do as a hypnotist, you don't need that kind of periphery, fluffery. You know, you know, maybe there's something to handwriting analysis. Maybe it is important, but don't let them steal that away from your essential training time. Good, I'm done. I kind of had my tirade there. Uh, <laughs> I'm passionate about this, what can I say? By the way, find an instructor that's passionate. If you're in class for a couple days with that instructor and that instructor is not passionate and experienced, 
okay? And, you know, really caring about the profession and caring about your success, just say, hey, I'm out of here, I want my money back. And go find someone that is. All right, what's next, Erica? All right, so, you know, the student or the potential student might ask, okay, you got me, what should I do next, right? So if you've made it through to this far in the videos, you are the ones who are really, really interested. You're the ones that I call the investors. You've already invested this time, this part of your, your, uh, your day, your consciousness, your focusness to be on this. And you're thinking, wow, this is really, this is really calling to me. So what you wanna do is do your research with the checklist. But I'll, if you want, I can save you a little bit of time. Yes, I give you the checklist. Call any place you want. But every one of our certified professional hypnosis instructors and schools satisfy everything on that checklist. Okay, This video is on a website of a Banyan Hypnosis Center for Training and Services Incorporated Approved Trained Certified Hypnosis Instructor. This complete training will give you Master Hypnotist Certification, Seven Path Self Hypnosis Certification, Five Path Hypnotherapist or Hypnotist Certification, plus the National Guild of Hypnotists consulting hypnotist in, um, certification. Our instructors in our course are among the best in the profession. They are experienced hypnosis professionals. They must have seen a significant number of clients and, and taught them uh, self-hypnosis, taken them through five paths, done advanced techniques, have a track, re a track record of success before we'll even look at them as instructors. They take a huge examination a process and training process to become um, professionally certified through us and some of them have even gone through the extra step of becoming professionally accredited. Uh, you want to talk a little bit about that? You, 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 you know, went from walking the walk, not just talking the talk of seeing a whole lot of clients and then became an instructor, right? That's right, and I love being an instructor. Um, I get something from it. I learn hypnosis at a deeper level, but I absolutely love hypnosis, and I love sharing that with other people. Going through the accreditation process for me was the next kind of step professionally. I wanted to kind of step up and do that, and it helped me be better. It really did. Uh, one of the things that I was very surprised by in this profession is how many trainers aren't seeing clients. That was very confusing to me. And um, so I don't understand how some trainers can really teach um, you know, students to be uh, good professionals if they're not still seeing clients. And I mean, do you see that a lot, Cal? You know, there's very few people in the world that have earned the right or would, in my mind, to teach without seeing clients anymore. And these are people who've been in the profession, who've been seeing clients for decades. Um, and you know they've really become someone that uh, is an asset to the profession. F um, and you know I would go here and talk from them, I would take a class from them. But too many times we've had people call our center and say, I want to do your certification course and become a trainer. And they just want to skip over seeing the clients. And I says, you know, we're just not interested in talking to you. We, we're about building an organization, building the profession, helping people, being truthful uh, about what we do, not some get rich quick dream or scheme. Um, let me, another thing you, that all of our CFIs, that's the acronym for Certified Professional Hypnosis Instructor, is they're gonna be able to teach you five path. And a five path, our five path system has been validated around the world. We have people practicing five path, helping clients everywhere from Japan to Russia to uh, South Africa to Scandinavia, Canada to Mexico, Texas, and everywhere in between. It's been proven, it's been validated as a system that can help everyone with virtually every problem that someone can come into the office with. And that's because it contains the most powerful techniques available hypnotists and it's flexible. 
All right. Anything you want to add to that, Erica? Well, I love that Five Path is criteria based, right? No more guessing. And the first um, hypnosis training that I got, there was a lot of guessing. And it's like, well, try this and see how it happens, you know, see what happens. And then if that doesn't work, try something else. And that is just not a way that you want to run a business. So criteria based, right? So we move on to the next phase when the when the goals of one phase have been completed and it just goes down from there, right? So the induction is built with criteria based inside of it. No more guessing. You know when to move to the next step. You know exactly what to do. And the way that it's designed enables you to help almost every single person that walks through your door. It helps you be successful right away. Perfect. Thank you very much. Yeah, run from any training program that is a smattering of different techniques. You know, learn a little bit of this and learn a bit of that. And you become what? What do they call that? The 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 master of none? The what I am a Oh, well, they can do everything, but they've mastered nothing. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Uh, the That phrase is eluding me, too, but I know exactly. You have no depth in what you're doing, right? You're just kind of right. amateur or something. Make sure you practice every day what you learn, and that's really important. It's, it's huge. Every day in class, you practice what you've learned, you hypnotize, you emerge, you work with the techniques that you learn in class. Five Path is the expert's choice. Uh, our trainers are the experts choice. We have doctors, psychologists, counselors, nurses take our courses all the time. They come from all over the world to become five path and seven path self hypnosis certified by one of our hypnosis instructors. You know, we've been validated in so many ways. So it's not just our opinion that we're good. We are the only special interest group at the national for the National Guild of Hypnotists for a specific kind of training and a specific style of hypnosis and you get the very best support of any hypnosis training organization in the world bar none all right what do you think about that erica that threw my list i think that's great you know and one thing that i think is really important is you know, our trainers, we don't teach this class all year round to, you know, thousands of students, right? We have small class size and we want to put out the best. So, you know, there's some level of, you know, I teach the class, I think three, maybe four times a year and the classes fill up pretty quick. That's, you know, everything I've been talking about is the good news. The bad news is what Erica brings up. I didn't want to be the bearer of bad news. I left that up to her. The bad news is our class sizes are limited because we're more focused on quality than quantity. So, and they're, all of our instructors, we only offer our courses maybe two times a year, maybe three times a year. Small courses, infrequent. They don't run, you know, every month kind of thing. So the time to act is to act right away. Uh, you might not be able to get into a class next week, next month. You might have to wait a month or two. So give us a contact. This video is hosted on a, one of our trainers' websites. Uh, if you're on calbanion.com, contact me. Uh, if you're on, if you're seeing it on one of the other trainers' websites, look for the contact information on this website, and then contact that person. Ask questions about anything covered. Ask questions about their training. Ask questions about me, Cal Banyan. Whatever you need to do, so that when you make that decision to come into our profession or to step up in our profession, you know in your heart that you are making the right decision for you. All right, uh, Erica, please wrap it up. All right. Well, I'm very happy to be here uh, today talking about this really important topic, how to get started as a hypnosis professional. My name is Erica Flint, and I hope to see you in class. All right. Super duper. And remember, when you graduate one of our certification courses, it is not the ending. It's a beginning because we want to do great things together. All right. Cal Banyan, <laughs> signing off. This recording is a property of Cal Banyan and the Banyan Hypnosis Center for Training and Services Incorporated. All rights reserved for private use only may not be duplicated without permission. For contact information, go to www.hypnosiscenter.com.